another PS5, no Pepper. No, it's turned on, look. But it doesn't appear to want to work. I bought this from eBay, I think. Yeah, this was this come from Israel, that's it. Come from Israel and it won't accept an update. So if I look on Google Lens, that right now says initialize PS5, remove all users and data. Are you sure? Let's click on yes. Well, I will when I plug the controller back in. I really need to get another micro USB cable. I keep freaking breaking though. That's any problem. Right, so this is asking me to confirm initialization. Let's make sure that is for yes. Okay, so that's initializing. Right, so now that's a preparing to update system software. Is this a Japanese model? Yeah. Yeah, it's in Japanese. I'm using Google Lens to translate. And that's just lost connection. Uh, what's going on? It's USB install. Um... Yeah, and then it just goes back to that screen which says, according to Google Lens, connect the controller with the USB cable and press the PS5 button. Everything else is greyed out apart from the reinstall system software option. It just don't allow it to go through at all. Yeah, so it's a Japanese model. Uh, I bought it from Israel. Um, and unfortunately, it just won't accept an update. Hey, Bridger, thank you, dude. Yeah, the language can be changed once it works, um, but this won't update. It's pointless me even sitting here waiting for this. Uh, that right now is telling me to download the latest software from PlayStation, and then it'll just go through this cycle again, and it'll just keep going through. It won't allow me to actually install. So I've got a sneaky suspicion that it's got something wrong with the SSD. Um, I don't know for sure, but... Um, sneaky suspicion that he's got something wrong with the SSD. So, guess what we're going to attempt to do? So yeah, that just shot up then and it just don't actually go through. So this will reboot again in a second and then it'll just go straight back to the other screen. I think you changed the BIOS chip. I didn't on this, mate, no. I didn't change the BIOS chip. Yeah, so if you look now, that's just rebooted and if you look on the overhead, it's just going to go straight back to that screen again. No, it's a Japanese PS5. So yeah, it's not installing the OS at all. Um, and that is a confirmed working copy of the software. So yeah, here's going to be the plan. Here is going to be the plan. We are going to attempt an SSD swap, full SSD swap with controller, with controller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a donor board, ka -ching. this is a digital edition donor board which matches the digital edition PS5. And what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to clean this crap off here. And I'm going to put this on the BGA machine to remove the SSD controller. Because the SSD controller is a big chip. And I want to do it gradually. So while I'm, while I'm removing the SSD from this one... I'm going to remove the SSD controller from this one on the BGA machine. That's going to be the plan. So yeah, I've, I've attempted an SSD swap before, but I've never attempted an SSD swap with the controller. So yeah, I'm going to take my mic off because the batteries have failed on my microphone and I haven't got around to changing it yet. Right, so that PS5 board's on the BGA machine, just off to the side. Um, so... One thing I do have now are all the stencils that you're ever going to need for the PS5. So I've already got the RAM stencil. I've got the um, I've got a six-way RAM stencil for the PS5 or GDDR5 stencil, should I say? 
So, I already had that, but I've also now got specific stencils for the APU, the SSD controller, and the Southbridge, all magnetic stencils. And they look absolutely awesome, to be honest. So these are a mirror. So there's my magnetic stencil for the South Bridge. So you put your well, you take all this apart. You've got a magnetic base, neodymium magnet. You put your chip on, and then you place your plate over the top like that, and then you slide it on, and it sandwiches the chip in between the base plate and the top plate. And it allows you to do a perfect reball every single time using solder paste. I've got one for the for the Southbridge, so no more reballing Southbridges by hand. Even though I had the Southbridge stencil, and you can do it with solder balls, I don't need to anymore. I can just use solder paste. But then on top of that, I've also got the 90062GG, which is the SSD controller. There you go. So same deal with that one. Magnetic. Oh shit, I've missed a couple of subs. Um, <laughs> Cheers, safe. Thank you, mate. And uh, crap shot as well. Thank you, buddy. I really appreciate it. Reboiling with these jigs is like butter. Oh, yes, indeed. Indeed. Yeah. They're absolutely amazing. But yeah, that's for the SSD controller. And. Dun, 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 dun. I've even got the APU one. Oh, yeah. I've even got the one for the APU, do da, do da. I've even got the one for the APU, oh de do da day. Hey! <laughs> yeah, I've even got the one for the APU, and it's they look amazing. They look absolutely amazing. I think they want the link to the stencils. Uh, Consolefix.shop. <laughs> no, you can buy them from me. If you want to wait, like I'm obviously charging a bit more than China because that's just the way business works. But if you want the China links, I'll send you a China link. So, yeah, they're like 30 something pound each on from China. And then I'm charging like 50, 50 something um, because that's the convenience of buying in the UK. But, uh, yeah, I can give you the China links. I don't mind. But, yeah, honestly, those things are unreal. Like, give me a sec because that's almost done. Right, let's reball this bit, this this mofo, and I'll show you how they act. Right, so the way you do them. And now you can now you can tell why I didn't want to reball that by hand. These are like 0.25 mil, and there's a few hundred. Retro region raided my stream with 64 views. Oh, ho, ho, retro region, you legend! Welcome to all your viewers, mate. Thank you, buddy. So I'm going to pop that board to one side for a minute. This is the SSD controller. So if you are new here, don't forget to give me a follow. If you want to see any repair content I would really appreciate it but yeah now you can probably tell why I didn't want to do this by hand so let me just take it off the plate for a minute because I don't want flux all over the magnet because they're a pain in the backside but uh, yeah this is why we didn't want to do it by hand because there's just way too many solder balls there Cheers, Andrew. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so replace all the solder with some leaded solder. Great to see you streaming. Thank you, thank you, Christ. Appreciate that, mate. I'll give you a naught pound if you reboard it by hand. Ha! <laughs> nope. New year, new me. No reboarding by hand. <laughs> Well, maybe sometimes reboiling by hand, but not this chip. 
I don't know why people say you have to be careful with BGA. Like, I mean, I'm never careful with these chips and I never pull a pad on them. As long as you replace it with leaded solder. Like, don't do, don't try and do it with lead-free solder because then you are just asking for trouble. But like, never try and wick lead-free solder. You're asking for trouble then, but with leaded solder, as long as you've got a... A soldering iron tip with enough surface area on it. Lead free is crap. I actually re ball with lead free, mate. I actually use lead free solder for re balling. Depends on what lead free you use. There we go, that should be good enough. Now, in fact, no, I did that wrong. Sorry, my bad. You need to put the plate on first, get that lined up. And then slide it on. Never try and slide the plate on after you've put the top, the middle plate onto the magnet because these neodymium magnets are incredibly strong and you don't want it snapping onto the chip. You really don't want it snapping onto the chip. Right, these are apparently 0.2 millimetres. So if you look at them, the holes are square. And that's because these are designed for solder paste, not solder balls. So we want to be using solder paste with these. Right, my solder paste has gone a little bit hard. If you look, it's not in the best condition, but if we... Hey, Trip Bill. Thank you, Trip Bill. Happy New Year to you, mate. Yeah, if we warm it up a little bit with the hot air. Jinxy. <laughs> Cheers, dude. Yeah, if we warm it up, you see it now? It's a lot better. And now... Because it's magnetic, ain't going nowhere. Shadow, thank you, buddy. Really appreciate that, mate. Yeah, so I like to go over this numerous times just to make sure that we get enough solar paste in each one. So if you look in the corner there, there's nowhere near enough. So we'd end up with an uneven ball. Right, I'll start cleaning it off. There you go. And now, very slowly, Mini Works, thank you. Mini Works 787 just resubscribed for 10 months. Thank you, Mini Works. Right, so I'm going to go to 400 degrees Celsius, 20% airflow, and I'm going to slowly start to warm this up. So from a distance, shut up Milo, meow at me. So we, we need the chip to heat up at the same time as the solder paste, or rather we need the chip at temperature before the solder paste, rather. And by the way, don't get too close with the hot air gun because it's a neodymium magnet. It will smash straight into that chip. It will start to come in a bit closer now though. Just take your time with these. And it's starting to get there. This is a big chip, I might need to actually focus the heat with the nozzle. Because it is a big chip. But it is starting to get there, you can see some of those balls starting to form. Yeah, I think I need to focus the heat with the nozzle on this one. Just given the fact that it's such a big chip. And turn the heat up to 420 as well, now it's up to temp. Still at 20% airflow though. I'm just focusing the heat a little bit more. 
on a specific area. Beautiful. Simply beautiful. Add some flux. Increase my airflow to 40%. Beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Slide that off. Perfect reballs every single time. They just work so, so well. Yeah, so they work beautifully. Well, that one does anyway. I haven't tried the APU one yet. Um, the fact that that one works means that the... Uh, the what do you call it one will work really well. Um, the South Bridge. So that one will work really well. Um, not sure on the APU. Going to test that later or tomorrow. Uh, I'll probably test it off stream to be fair. So what I want to do first, before I do anything, I want to swap the SSD controller and just see if it boots up with um, a replacement SSD controller. That's what I want to do first. So I'm just going to remove this SSD controller. I'll start by preheating. Do you find it hard to keep your head out of frame when streaming? I constantly find myself leaning directly over the table when working. Um, to be honest, I don't really. It don't really bother me putting my head in frame because, you know, it's just you know I'm streaming me working on a board. Sometimes I need to have a close up look or something like that. So, is this a YouTube first? Yeah, I believe it will be, Danny. Welcome, by the way. Yeah, so sometimes I just I get my head in frame, but yeah. Especially when you're zoomed out to this level, because I'm zoomed out pretty much to the max. Uh, I should probably zoom in a little bit, actually. Alright, so I'm going I'm to go... Well, now that the board's preheated, I'm going to go full whack on this 480 degrees Celsius. Just fix the switch light. Nice. Yeah, so I'm going to go full whack, 480 degrees Celsius. It's a big chip, and to be honest, I don't really care if I've killed the chip. What I should care about is my health. There you go. Thank you, Kempe. Oi, oi. How's it going, dude? And the first time we sold green and fume extractor is a must. Yes. I'm good, thanks. Yeah. I'm good, thanks, mate. Yeah, it's a Twitch first to know, but it'll be on YouTube tomorrow. Thank you, Dean. I really appreciate that, mate. Fume extractor's a bit far away.
There we go. There you go. That's lined up. There you go. Job is a good one. Right, does this boot with a replacement SSD controller? Is the SSD controller replaceable? That be the question that we all want to know. Computer says no, hopefully not. It's an old pair of no forget no forget it not forget it booting. Ha! <laughs> Well, we're about to find out. It turns on. Does it boot? It does. <laughs> it does. It boots. With a replacement SSD controller. Yep. Confirmed. Will it reinstall the OS with a replacement SSD controller? Let's find that out, shall we? So, it looks like the SSD controller might be replaceable. Yeah, that's got to be a faulty SSD, right? Like, if that's not accepted an update. Because, look, it gets to 4%, and then... I'm assuming this is going to reboot again in a second. Oh, hold on. Come on. Get there. No. Oh! 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 Come on. We've never seen that screen before. It's just shut itself off. No, it's not. It's rebooting. We've never got to that screen. Mm -mm. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't need to know Japanese to know that's working. Let's go. Oh, hell yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Damn, dude. That's Japanese for it works. Oh, yes. It was worth the wait. It was worth the wait. Yes, looks like the SSD controller had failed. Yeah. Woo-wee. English. There we go. Boom. Hell yeah, baby. And it's also downloading files. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. That works. That works, ladies and gents. Yeah, buddy. Why is it only reading 667.2 gig? Is that normal? I don't know. Time to not update it till forever. Ha! <laughs> to the hack for firmware 6.02. Nah. This will get sold, mate. I'll sell this board. Now, here's the question, and I'm going to leave you guys to decide. That's normal. Okay, cool. Uh, right. Now comes the question. Do we try and change the actual SSD chips on this? Do you know why the SSD decided to fail? No, I don't, mate, unfortunately. Yeah, so that's the question. Do I replace the SSD itself, like these chips here, do I replace those and see if it boots up? What's to lose? You're willing to trial board it anyway. Yeah, well, that's what I'm thinking. They won't make it replaceable. Well, I've replaced the SSD controller. I've just done that. But there's the old... Just so you know, I haven't just dropped the other controller back on. There's the old controller. So that controller is dead. Like that, that controller's dud. It's got to be, because if it wasn't, then it wouldn't have accepted an update when I replaced it. So that controller must be dead, right? You reckon raw data's married, you think? You don't know that the donor SSD is okay. Well, that's a problem. Yeah, you don't. That's one thing. I mean, we have had a win on this. Uh, this will probably make one video on its own, me replacing just the controller, right? And then if I try and replace the SSD now, I can make another video on that because otherwise it's going to be too long anyway. 
but that's a win on its own, just without being able to replace that SSD controller, and knowing we can replace the SSD controller is a win, and also we now know that if it doesn't accept an update, like plain and simple just won't accept an update, we know that it can be the SSD controller, because that's just worked first time, no issues, as soon as I replace that controller. If the controller isn't paired, the light, what is the likelihood the SSDs are? But well, this is what I'm thinking, mate. I think I need to change them. I think I need to risk it for a biscuit.